Hello everybody and welcome to this new episode of this Lumion course in where we are going to see the advanced options for placing elements in a different way. Look that here, if I go to place and before I have choose one library, for example nature, here below this button it appears different options that we haven't seen already. So apart of the single placement that we know how to use, we have the mass placement, we have the cluster placement, and we have the paint placement. So if I go to the single placement and I go, for example, to flowers, and I choose this first one, and I want to create a line along this facade, I should repeat the placement of this flower many, many times, and it could be kind of boring, and I should spend a lot of time on it. So this is not a very good way for doing this operation. So let's do it using this new tool called mass placement. I could go to place again, and I could choose mass placement. Then I could choose this, for example, African daisy orange species. And when I go to the viewport, I should choose my first point and then a second one where I want that band to finish. Look, I want that band to finish here. So I could click here and then it appears this menu for the mass placement. I have number of items. Now I have just, look, one, two, three, four and five items I have right now. I could increase the number of items. And then all this band would fulfill with this species, with this flower. So look that doing this operation in this way is much more easier and for sure much more faster. I have the direction as well. I would orbit here for making you watch what is happening in a better position. So with the direction, what I'm doing is to rotate each element with a number of degrees. Okay, you can see all the elements rotating in the same way. If I want to randomize the direction of the rotation, then I can use this bar and any element would rotate in a different direction. I recommend you to use this randomized direction because the general impression using this would be much more natural. Then I can use as well the randomized spacing along line. So here I could separate the distance between the elements in a randomized way. More natural again. And with this bar I would randomize offset from line. So you can see that the elements would separate from the middle axis. And again, the result would be much more natural. So here it could be fine. And now let's go to this part of the menu. Here I have just one species, this flower. If I wanted to add another species, I could go to my library. For example, I could choose this yellow one. I could click on it. And I could go to here to add. Look that when I go with the mouse along this button, it appears already here in this window and I should click just once. Then this species has been put into the band and now I have two species along the edge. If I wanted to add another species, I would repeat the same operation. So let's go for example now to grass. And I could choose this one, this blue fescue. I click on it and I go here. I click on the left button of the mouse. It's been added. So right now I have three species. So if we are happy with this composition, we have just to click here, confirming the operation and returning to the build mode. You can see right now that here we have all these species in this band. Maybe we should have added more elements because there are too much distance between the flowers. Take into account that once that we have confirmed the operation, we can't return to that menu and edit it again. So we should repeat the operation from the beginning. I mean, here, if I click select, all the elements are now just like individual elements. 
we can't go again to that band and edit it. In any case, I think that it is very clear how it works. It is super useful. So let's go now to the next option. I will go to place and then to cluster placement. When I click on it, I will have to choose another species. In this case, I will go to palm and I will choose, for example, this, mm, let's say this palm tree. Okay. This typical one. I will click here once and then you will see that there are not one, but a lot of them. There is a cluster of palms. So this tool will be very useful when we want to create a composition placing group of elements in a very rapid way. Take into account that although the name of the tool is cluster placement, this is not a cluster. This is not a group of elements. So if I click on select, we will see that here the elements work again individually. So here we have this element and we can erase it just one by one. There is no group in any case. By the way, if we want to select more than one element, we can do it this way. We can press select and then press control button and create this kind of box where we will select many elements at the same time. Here is okay. Then I release the button and I click here and I confirm the operation. There is one just palm tree left. So I will click here again and they are already erased. Next option would be paint placement. So I would click on it. I would go again to my palm tree and right now look that it appears a circle on my ground and I have this menu. In this menu, we have a bar called density and we have two buttons. One is for painting and the other one is for erasing elements. So we have already chosen this palm tree. So with this brush, when I click, look that just with one click, I have placed a lot of elements. There are a lot because the density is so high, is the maximum. If I want to put with each click less elements, then I would reduce the density. And once I click here on the ground, there will be less elements than before. This way I can create a great forest around my building in a very, very fast way. On the other hand, if I want to erase some of these elements, I could choose this erase selected object. And now I could start erasing some of these elements. For example, I would point my target here because I can see that some of these palm trees are placed in a very wrong position. So here I could choose these ones and they are right now much more better. Then I would put here some more and it could be fine. Take into account that with this tool for erasing elements, I am able to erase just objects which have been placed with this same tool. For example, these flowers can be erased because they hadn't been painted with this tool. So now I have to confirm the operation. And again, once I have finished, all the elements work individually. I would press select and here I will find a lot of little balls. The good thing here is that this tool has memory. So I can go again to this paint placement. I could choose erase, for example, and I can still erase more elements so I can still edit my composition. I will say confirm and I will return to the build mode. So we have already finished to see every tool about how to place elements. We finished this episode now and I will see you in the next class.